Well, this is the season of giving from your family and friends to your favorite nonprofit. It's that time of year when a focus is put on acts of kindness and generosity. However, one local community group is not able to give back right now. Nikki Johnson explains why in tonight's top story. That one is the hardest. I'm struggling to find out what we should do about that this year. Stacey Sturm is a five-year member of the Bizman Stilettos, a group of women dedicated to volunteering in the community. She says her time with the organization was enjoyable until this May, when it was discovered they were missing money. Our bank account, account was closed in May due to insufficient funds. And, um, and then we're basically starting all over now. In October this year, former stiletto treasurer Catherine Artlip turned herself into the Bismarck police for writing bad checks. On top of that, the organization says she stole a little more than $10,000. But after being assigned a public defender, Artlip took back her admission and is currently awaiting her day in court. In the meantime, the Bisman stilettos are waiting to get their nonprofit status back. Sturm says, had this money not gone missing, they'd still have the nonprofit status. And since the stilettos don't, that means they can't receive charitable donations. And what really hurts is they can't help organizations like the Children's Treatment Facility Manchester House like they have in the past. Um, we always worked with the kids at Manchester House and stilettos was one of the few groups that was like allowed to socialize and interact with these kids. So we were very trusted to be able to, to host Christmas for these kids. So I think like that's going to be the hardest thing I think this year. Yet, just because the stilettos aren't able to give right now, it doesn't mean no one else can. We love having the gift cards to like Sky Zone, to the movies, to bowling, to um, Gateway to Science. Um, any of the experiences that your own child would have in the community. We want to have that experience for our kids too. Sturm says one person's alleged irresponsibility shouldn't allow groups like the Stilettos or Manchester to suffer. Instead, she hopes this will motivate others to give even more when it's needed most. Reporting in Bismarck for KX News, I'm Nikki Johnson. Sturm expects Stilettos to regain its nonprofit status within a few weeks.